So let's start with the last part of uh, this uh, workshop. I will address uh, one uh, important point uh, related to security, even if this is not a workshop dedicated to security, but this part has been changed and uh, basically we are addressing the radar protection which is used by uh, nearly everyone. So uh, we wanted to show you uh, what has changed on this uh, topic. First, we have a new mechanism for the protection of the code in the internal flash. And uh, so le let's see what is the impact, what has changed and what is the impact. So first, a little reminder about RDP protection on the, our legacy STM32, meaning uh, all other STM32, basically. We have RDP level zero, which is the open state uh, you get uh, by default when you get the, the device. And uh, it is uh, in the, the state that you um, work in the development mode. Then you have this RDP level one, where the flash is uh, protected against uh, readout. The debugger can still attach and uh, you can read the RAM content. Then you can regress the device to RDP level zero. And uh, regression means that you erase all the content of the flash so that your uh, code cannot leak. This state is the mostly used by our customers because of this regression capability. And then we have uh, RDP level two where the device is locked uh, in a, in a and uh, we don't have any more debugger access and we cannot go back. So the device is still able to, to run, uh, obviously. If you have implemented uh, an update mechanism, it can uh, update itself, uh, receiving a new firmware update, a new firmware through uh, any uh, communication link, but the device cannot be reopened anymore. This is the state of all legacy STM32. There, there was a, a small change on the STM32 U5 where you have the ability to have a provision a key in the device that would allow you to uh, regress the RTP level two to RTP level one, and then from, from one to zero. So this was the first step uh, with uh, uh, allowing to have a better protection because uh, here, with RDP level one, uh, you have still some surface of attack because you can read the content of the RAM, for instance. So this was the first step. And uh, with H5, we uh, started from this first step and uh, went on to, uh, and uh, uh, increased the security and uh, improved this uh, mechanism. So what has changed in uh, H5? We have replaced RDP by product state. So this is basically the uh, state, uh, just a, a renaming, but we have now uh, more uh, states. Uh, in both state, in both cases, it's an option byte that uh, you, you program through a uh, programmer, for instance. For RDP, we had three values. So AA for RDP level zero, RDP level two was CC, and any other value meant RDP level one. Product state, we have a value for each state. So there is no default value as before. And also something completely new in this STM32 is the debug authentication feature. This is a feature that is accessible through dedicated access point of the JTAG, so either JTAG or SWD. It is using open protocol, I would say, uh, from ARM, which is called ADAC, that is available um, yes, uh, as a specification. And uh, we use a password for the regression as we used to do uh, for the U5, but this password is used only in the case of, um, I would say, legacy usage of the device. This means that you don't activate the trust zone. In case you have a more security um, requirement, usually you will enable the trust zone to be able to have the isolation between secure and non-secure. And in that case, you have uh, also a more secure way to open the device through a certificate. We will not address this case here, but more in the next uh, workshop. So here, the goal is really to show you the minimum change you need to do compared, for instance, to uh, F4. 
uh, device uh, stm 32 f 4 Just to show you the first the product states, so now the product states are named. They have dedicated value, but we use a name to have them uh, more uh, yes useful. Dedicated for development is open state. Then we have a new provisioning state. This provisioning state is a specific state of the device where you can uh, send provisioning data, provisioning files. So uh, it is waiting uh, for uh, in a dedicated state provisioning data. And two other states, the closed state and the locked state. There are some intermediate state I will not talk about here, but they are more related to a uh, trust zone uh, enabled state. So here you, you need only to care about those states. So the closed state is a state where you are able to come back to open state. So this is in some way the equivalent of RDP level one. And the locked state is a definitive the locked state, so equivalent of RDP level two. But the difference with RDP level one here is that in closed states, uh, you don't have any uh, more the debug interface available. So this is an uh, improvement in terms of security. So the, the regression is now controlled by the debug authentication. So coming back to the states, so during provisioning of the device, we will provision hash um, a, of a specific key. So hash is a, a cryptographic operation that uh, um, change the input in uh, 256 bits, so 32 bytes. Um, then you have the, the closed states uh, where you don't have any more debug access. Then here you, you are, uh, you, your device is ready to go to the field and uh, is ready to run uh, with its uh, firmware. Then you need to take back your device from the field and uh, analyze it. You have the, a way to reopen the device thanks to the key you have provisioned here. So you need a Q programmer or equivalent that uh, would uh, implement the same uh, ADAC protocol. And this programmer will uh, communicate with uh, debug authentication. So I will show you how, how it works uh, later. And uh, then uh, the, the programmer sends a key. So the, the original key that was used uh, for generating this hash and the debug authentication firmware uh, will generate the hash of the, the receive key and will compare with the, the one it, uh, that was provisioned earlier. And then if the, they match, the regression can happen and the content of the flare flash is erased. So impact on the production process compared, for example, with the F4, you need to have this provisioning state. So uh, switch to op from open to provisioning in the product state, send a specific file to the device to have this key hash provision. So this is the main point of uh, this, uh, this demo to, to show you that uh, there is uh, something that is um, changing and impacting your production process. Uh, now let's see how it works. We will, uh, I will show you this regression capability. We will use um, the trusted package creator that is provided together with the Kube programmer in the same package when you download Kube programmer. Now you, you have also this uh, trusted package creator. So we will have an application firmware with a trust zone disabled. Um, so this use case uh, is uh, to be compared with a typical use case with a F4 uh, using RDP level one. We have a simple LED uh, blink application. And um, as we don't enable trust zone, we, we use a password for this debug authentication. So the, the different steps we have is that we need to create this provisioning file that we call OBK file. OBK means uh, option byte key. This is something that uh, uh, implicitly shows that uh, the, the key will be stored in the specific area. Uh, it's a secure storage that we call OBK. 
then we will flash uh, a land blinking binary like uh, your firmware. Uh, we will go to provisioning state, provision the OB key file on the board, so the one that we, we generated here. We will move to closed state and we will be back to the original state. So let's start, let me, this interface. Uh, you have different uh, points on the left. So here we have new uh, H5 dedicated uh, tab and we have OB key. So OB key is to generate the OB key file. Image generation and the certificate generation is for other topics, security topics that we will not address here. So XML file, let's check. So I prepared a, a XML file that actually you you have one example in the firmware in the cube firmware, and in this XML file you have a content that is interpreted, and actually you can see that we have a password. Uh, you can change the value of the password. You can see here the destination address. This is the, where the, the address inside the secure storage where you need to store this value. And here we have uh, encryption disabled because we are in, uh, here I display the board uh, H563, which doesn't have uh, hardware encryption. So, here, everything is ready. We will generate uh, in a binary directory uh, .obk file. So generate this, this file. And if I can show you, uh, here uh, we have the uh, obk file that we ju just generated now, and also Another file that is generated together with the XML file is a password.bin. This file is uh, the one you need to keep in a safe to be able to reopen your device later. Now we have created the file. We can go to uh, Cube Programmer so that we can see how it works. Uh, first, uh, I will connect to the device. You can see that, uh, well, it's... Uh, a flash is erased. So I will first program the, so I've prepared uh, this uh, IO toggle. So I program it and uh, you can show, I can show you with the camera so that you have a, a LED toggle. I hope you can see the toggling of the LED here. And now we have uh, programmed our firmware. We will change the product state. So you can see here the different product states. So I, I shown you open, provisioning, closed, and locked. The two others here are not uh, uh, useful uh, for demo. Uh, so here I change to 17 provisioning. I apply. I will not uh, provision a, a default DA because I, I will uh, I have gener generated my own, so I don't I don't do it. There is a warning that you should set a DA config. So DA config means a debug authentication config. This is the OB key file that uh, I have just uh, generated before. So here I'm now in a provisioning state, and you can see that the LED is not blinking anymore. This is because uh, you have uh, uh, we are in a state where we are waiting for provisioning files. So to provision the OB key file now, there is a, this uh, tab that we have here where you have OB key provisioning tab. Uh, you can select the OB key file that was generated in the binary here, the one where that uh, we just generated. And uh, we can see again the destination address, the size of the, the OB key, and the, the fact that we do not encrypt it. And then we just have to provisioning. So here, the provisioning is, uh, is OK. We can now uh, switch to closed state. So let's go. Here we are in a provision. We are going to close state. 
So here it's important that switching to closed state, if you must have provision uh, uh, debug authentication key. If you go to closed state without doing this, it's like you are in a log state. So that, that's important to, uh, to understand. So I apply to close the device. Yes. Oh. So here you have uh, some warnings because the, the programmer tries to uh, to reconnect, but now we, we are not able to connect anymore. The device is closed. And you can see that now the LED is blinking. So your firmware is ready to go to the field. No more, uh, I try to connect. If I try to connect uh, under reset, it will fail. No, no, no way to, to reconnect. Uh, uh, whatsoever. So come back to hot plug, connect. No, nope, not possible. So the last part of this um, demo is to show you now the the regression. So to do the regression, you need to go to debug authentication here, and there is a button discovery discover. So the discoverer here is um, going through uh, SWD in that case, but with a different access point. You can see uh, the access port, sorry. The access port used for debug is one, and the access port used for uh, discover is zero. So it's a different access port dedicated to, to this feature. And here you can see that the, the device is in closed state. Uh, so it could communicate with the device through this specific channel. And now we can uh, select the password that we have generated uh, when generating also the OB key. So the, this password that needs to be stored somewhere in your in a safe. And you can press full regression and this will uh, do the regression to the device. So you have here the, the regression that is done and automatically a uh, queue programmer connects to the device. And we can check here product state. We are now in open state and uh, the flash is, uh, is erased. So this is what I wanted to show you. I hope it is uh, clear. So I just showed you that uh, how to provision a password and then to be able to do this uh, regression.